Hi, I'm James Chillingwell, and I'm here with Ensemble in Las Vegas, second year in a row. That's right. And it's an Ensemble Horizon, the annual conference, and I'm here with Michael Johnson, president of Ensemble. We've interviewed him many times before, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, this conference, which is almost over right now. We've yes, got one yeah, final thing on the, home on the home stretch, and you're going to find out all about that and all about Ensemble and more on Insider Travel Report. Michael, first of all, great to see you. As great always. to see you. Thank you so much for coming, James. Well, thank you for inviting me. I always enjoy your conference. I've gone now three years in a row. Yes. yes. And I've been, I've been, I've been pushing you. I, yeah. I got to tell you. And yeah. uh, you started with like four hundred, roughly four hundred three years ago, and you yeah. got about what seven eight hundred last year, and about the same this yeah, year. About the same this year, yeah, just over eight hundred. Okay. So then we, we got to wait until twenty twenty six because they moved their conference. You moved the conference to the spring, which we're actually very thankful for. Yeah, because we wanted to find a more convenient time of the year, and we know that. You know, for members, this is a difficult time to step away from their businesses. And from the partner perspective, they're really on the circuit. And I know you've been doing a lot of traveling. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm every week. I'm yeah. on the road. Yeah. So we wanted to make something that was easy. We're all about making things easy at Ensemble. So shifting it to spring made sense. Yeah. And so we're, well, we're going to miss you for a year. Wouldn't well, we? you know, we've got some local events. Okay. Um, so we're filling that void with uh, our Skyline series, which yeah. are local events in cities all across North America. And I'm super excited about that yeah. because it gives us an opportunity in a more intimate setting to really spend quality time with our members and partners. So yeah, that is important yeah. and something like that. Yeah. Everyone likes that. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the numbers. Um, yeah. First of all, roughly, you said about so 800 this year. Yes. Um, how many travel advisors uh, are now in ensemble as a collective now. Roughly. Oh, it's I mean it's it's tens of thousands. Yeah. Um, and what's so interesting about our community is we've got um, such a diverse group of uh, of members and advisors from Canada uh, and the U.S. And now uh, one one in Australia. And now one in Australia who are here. Yeah. Uh, and so we're so thrilled to welcome Hello World to the uh, to the group as well. So um, yeah, we've got a number of of different advisors and what's you. you really interesting about Ensemble is that we've got a number of host agencies, but we also have quite a number of um, employed travel advisors right. as not well. Not too many of those right. left. No, not too many of those. And so for them to come means a huge investment from those agencies, right. uh, just in terms of you know people away from, uh, from the business. So we uh, are um, grateful uh, for all of their attendance and participation here. No, oh, that's wonderful. Now, let's get to the, another point is, uh, how's business been uh, for the past year? I mean, yeah. th this year, the past couple of years in travel were gangbusters. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Is that what you guys experienced uh, back in, uh, obviously, uh, 2024 20, uh, this year and 23? Yeah. yeah, I mean, well, yeah, absolutely. You know, like the industry overall, Ensemble has, you know, continued to uh, continue to grow. Uh, our members are thriving. And, and it's really a new normal now, right? So yeah, we always want a new normal. We like this new normal. Yeah, well, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. We, we love this new normal. So we're, we're super excited and we see growth across all of the categories, right? Cruise, tour, uh, hotel, air, luxury uh, is really growing. Uh, and, and, and the niches are starting to become more relevant to our business as well. Family travel, um, expedition travel, adventure travel, etc. You have these circles of, of focuses right. that uh, I focus on. One is family is travel. Obviously, right. there's yeah. others as well. So you started those programs as well, and I think they've been pretty successful for you. Yeah, they, they've been great because we want to make sure that we're offering uh, opportunities to engage uh, in relevant right. uh, um, uh, programs for our members. Well, I, I couldn't let you go without at least making a comment on uh, ADX. Yeah. Uh, we, I just had an interview with Dave Holman, who's oh, like that, yeah. and we talked all about ADX. But is, is ADX one of the core benefits uh, that you think uh, w uh, for existing members and how to attract new ones? Oh, absolutely. It's a huge differentiator for us, right? So uh, we talked earlier this week about making travel, uh, booking travel easy, yeah. right? And that's what ADX does. You know, 50% of advisors use more than one platform for air, 74% use more than one platform for hotel. And if we can remove administration and complexity right. and make it easier, then the advisor and the agency can then focus on what they do best, okay. which is uh, work with their clients. It, absolutely, it's what they should be doing, That's and, right. and, uh, and you have this all-in-one system. That's right. Plus, it gives them a lot of air bookings, which they may not have had before. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can own the customer experience from A to Z uh, if you're on the ADX platform. So this is, this is one of the big questions I could have left to the end, but yeah. you said it as well on stage. You said, uh, do you think this is kind of the golden age for being a travel advisor? 
Absolutely. This is absolutely the golden age of the travel advisor. Uh, the pendulum is swinging back. I think if, if you ask um, the most basic of basic questions, what's the best customer experience? Mm -hmm. It's always going to be with a human being. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, um, as an industry, have confused choice with convenience. We're adding more choice, more products, more platforms, etc. And what that's created is not convenience, it's created complexity. And it's so hard. Which is why you need a travel advisor. Which is why you need a travel advisor because it's so hard for clients to decipher all of these different um, uh, opportunities. And so only an advisor can lean into uh, expertise and empathy and design uh, the best trip for their customers. So we think there's a renaissance, quite frankly. Well, also it's uh, adding advisors, which, you know, up until I'd say on the last couple of years, yep. It, uh, you know, travel advisors are a dying profession. And, and, and then the Department of Labor in the U.S. came across and said, it's actually a growing profession. Yes, and people exactly. go, I was like, whoa, well, I've been around here for 30 years and I'm waiting yeah. for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, absolutely. And, and so we, you know, we've asked questions like, is AI a threat? And is the travel advisor an endangered species? And, and it's actually the opposite. It's a growing industry. Which I love to say. And then, yeah. then somebody says, well, well, online travel is taking it away. And I'm like, well, actually, there's only two online travel agencies like right that. right exactly <laughs> when you exactly when you think about it nobody they look at me like you know you're crazy that but yeah. it is true yeah. now let's talk a little bit about um what your difference is because obviously you are now you know you you, you wanted to create a group that had a real difference compared there's a lot of there's a lot of choice in the market sure. with consortium yeah. so uh what is your difference i think you mentioned on stage today a little bit and you said it was your people Mm -hmm. uh, is is that still is 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 do you like being kind of this boutique agency uh, consortia uh, that really um, you know can respond quickly with with a very good team? Yeah, I think our. our First, uh, our differentiator is absolutely our team and the culture and the energy that we're, um, you know, embracing in this uh, in this company. And we use our size as a strength because we have the ability to get to know our members, on, you know, intimately. Right. And you can't really help your customer if you don't know your customer. Mm -hmm. And so that's a huge advantage for Ensemble. And and you know, pulling that a step further, once we get to know um, uh, our clients, um, we then develop solutions mm -hmm. to um, help them. Uh, look, working in travel is hard. Like, you, well, you know, did, you did a whole uh, census, I think, to find out did. what they really needed. And you've, right. you've already responded with uh, new products, technology and marketing. right? Yeah. And this entire conference is an example of that. Right. It's it's tailored to meet the needs of all of the different constituents, quite frankly. Now, um, what is your vision for the future for Ensemble? I mean, how are you you've evolved very nicely in the, over the last three years. Mm -hmm. But where, where are you heading? Where do you think you want this group to be? So we're going to um, continue to um, advocate and to uh, lean into the voice of our customer and design programs and solutions that meet their needs. Um, we are also you know, really focused on um, creating an environment where advisors can mix and match different products very, very easily. So we don't stick to one particular niche. Mm -hmm. uh, we really want to create democracy of choice. Okay and then um, allow the advisors through technology to focus on their customer versus focus on um, how to book. Yeah, well, I know you've sort of often said you want to be a different kind of consortium, and it's, already, it's evident here as we see you know, what you've created here with this mm -hmm. program. I mean, I, I, the other groups are great. I love it. Oh, each, each, has, each has their own little Everyone area, their and you've created something kind of the, I wouldn't say the anti-consortium, but it, it's it's kind of you know it's it's very different and very mm -hmm. and, and you keep trying to push the envelope. Right? Yeah, we, we continue to ask different questions and challenge paradigms around you know what a consortia um, can do in the industry. I mean, if we're not going to lead, if we're not going to take a leadership role, who will? Mm -hmm. So there's an opportunity as travel has changed for us to change as well. Absolutely, and I think you're doing that. Anything else you want to tell our our viewers, both non-ensemble and uh, I don't know if you're looking for new members and you want to sort of sell sell them on this on on ensemble or well you know it's I mean it's funny like we're we're absolutely growing uh, we have a number of new members here and I had one um, conversation and, and it's kind of like okay it's it's almost like when you don't see a, a child for a little while and then you see them a year or two later and how much they've grown yeah. that's what's happened at ensemble so if you think you know ensemble chances are you don't uh, because we're a completely new company and a, a revitalized energy well I 
started recognize that three years ago in Miami when we yep. were down there. And, yep. and I, everybody, would, suppliers would ask me, some travelers say, you know, take a look at Ensemble, you yeah, know, because yeah. the other groups are great. I cover them all. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is an option to consider now that, that it's a different group. Go get the a taste, get a feel for the group and try to understand, you know, how it differs and what it can deliver. It never hurts for uh, someone to understand what's out there. Right. And so take the time you've invested so much energy in building your business, invest a little bit more time in understanding what's available to you. And that's all we want to do is just, you know, share what's happening at Ensemble because we're really excited about it. No, and I think you've, you've generated a lot of excitement about it so the, from the suppliers who attend and the uh, travel advisors here. You have a group of the old guard from yeah, the old days absolutely. of Giants and Ensemble. You got the, the new crowd you're coming in. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, you've blended them nicely and it, I, I see the difference every year. Oh, thank you. We, we like to refer to ourselves internally as the 50 six year old new kid on the block. <laughs> That's a good way to describe you know, we, it. Like, we embrace uh, the legacy of this great company and um, yeah, we continue to grow. So, fantastic. Well, Michael, thank you for taking the time. I know it's thank been you. a busy, busy few days for you and now we're kind of heading to just tonight's big awards night and yep. uh, going to, here's a difference. We're going to Dr. Dre's uh, Club you got Lounge. It. You got be it. there, be square. Absolutely. So it's a little bit of a different uh, type of thing out right away. Again, thanks so much and it's great to pleasure. see you. Great to see you, James. Thanks, everyone. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.